Um, are men more emotional than women? <laughs> I don't know. I think to make such a broad generalization is kind of ridiculous. Well, um, we're in the sp- in the spirit of talking about generalizations. Here we go. Um. Yeah. I think that men societally, culturally have been a force to uh, hide their emotions a lot more than women. Okay. Um, and they've gotten better at doing that, you know, just over the course of history. And okay. so they lean more into their, uh, in, maybe into their anger or into their avoidance uh, <laughs> um, rather than deal being, yeah, like actually experiencing their emotions, you know? Uh, I think overall is a cultural societal thing, but do I think I, I can't make such a broad generalization? Um, yeah, yeah, that's. I, I think I think before I personally could answer that question, we need to define what's considered emotional, right? Because there's this cliche that emotional is when like this this outwardly expressed, almost uncontrollable um, sense of sensitivity that you could say okay this is an emotional person this is any em- this person showing emotion right because people fail to realize that emotions are expressed in different ways right and and they're expressed in different frequencies and volumes okay so when someone asks are men more emotional than women or are women more emotional than men you have to first identify how are they showing the emotion and then when you know how they show the emotion you could say this person expresses their emotions more than that person right because a woman might be just as generalization right based on everybody's assumed assumption of how women express emotion a woman might be more emotional uh verbally right she might say things she might express feelings you know talk things out in a way that is like audible and you can recognize and say this is emotional Right. A man, you know, as cliche as it sounds, he might express it in a different way. Some men are verbal. Some men, you know, can be very dynamic with how they express their emotions. But a man might express his emotions through certain actions that he does. Right. Or a removal of actions, a.k.a. avoidance. And so why am I raising my hands? I'm not avoiding. Uh, You know, so so there if you can recognize that. Right. And sometimes a man might do things, uh, you know, exhibit some anger or he might not show uh, emotion in 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 large frequencies, but the buildup will express how much emotion he's had when it eventually um, um, boils over outwardly, right? So I think I don't want to say there's an even amount. I think we need to spend more t- more time understanding what emotion looks like from different people. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree. That's why it's really hard to answer that question because. The experience of emotion and being emotional or acting emotional are two different things, right? Right, right. And so, you know, an avoidant person, let's say, just for like the sake of, you know, this conversation, can be deeply experiencing their emotions on their own, really going through it, but never outwardly expressing it. Where an anxious person it's like all emotion it's all out there it's crying it's screaming it's you know um you know fully fully expressed right but it doesn't mean men or the avoided person let's say is less emotional than the anxious person because and i will say this is really really important is that Uh, We didn't go over how the attachment styles were discovered, but they were discovered when they tested one and a half year olds um, in an environment where the mom would come into a room and the mom would leave the room. Right. And they discovered through this, uh, through the child's reactions when mom would leave the room and come back, what each attachment style was. Right. 
And so the avoidant child would not really care when mom left and not really care when mom came back. It would be like sitting, playing with toys, you know, whatever, not really make a big, you know, fuss. The anxious child would freak out when mom was leaving. When mom came back, the anxious child would also like, you know, be tantruming and upset and even like trying to hurt mom a little bit, like, you know, like. Like punishing mom for leaving to begin wow, with, kind wow, of thing. Wow, you know? wow. Um, and the fearful avoidant child you, was confused, right? And because um, again, they're kind of in between, right? So they're uh, they're confused. But uh, the point is that when they took the kids' vitals after this test, right? All three insecure attachment styles had increased vitals. They had increased heart rate. Um, they were all anxious. So even the avoidant kid that seemingly, this is one and a half years old now, okay? The avoidant kid that seemingly didn't care outwardly was still experiencing a lot of anxiety. Uh, he's boiling. Or she's boiling. Yeah. And, and I yeah. believe that because like sometimes even if someone's like, and, and this applies to men because that's the conversation that's kind of growing right now is like men's ability to like express themselves and so on and so forth. Like it, men might not be as vocal, but the amount of emotion that they experience internally could be exponential to what you yeah. see outwardly. So yeah. I, I don't want people to get the misconception that because someone's not outwardly expressing stuff, that they're not emotional, that they're cold and so on and so forth. Like I remember I, my, my dad's, uh, my dad's wife recently passed away. Right mm -hmm. now, my dad has never really been an expressive person. And mm -hmm. I've often like, you know, was resentful of that as if like he was just a cold person and so on and so forth. But then sometimes when people are triggered in certain ways, they express that emotion. So the, the most emotion I've ever seen my dad have was during his father's funeral and then his his late wife's um funeral which was um late last year and when i saw him get on the uh, um in front of the church to like kind of give a speech and the things that he was expressing and 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 how he was like being super detailed and 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 expressing some of the things that he valued in this person i just i've never seen that side of him before Right. And it, and it took that that moment, that very impactful um, circumstance to, to say this. I'm letting it out. And then it was hard watching. I'm um, getting emotional just thinking about it. But um, it was definitely something that mimicked the idea that when someone doesn't show emotion outwardly, it doesn't truly reflect what's happening on the inside. And then, as you said, if a child can get tested to to see their vitals when they're experiencing um you know, some type of trauma, but they're not outwardly expressing it, they could still internally be feeling something. So that's why it's really important to like talk things out and be very like um, sensitive to other people, even if you might not immediately see um, their yeah. reaction to stuff. Yeah. And I have to say that for me on a personal level, I really had to learn all of this um, in this part of my life because I told you about that toxic relationship I had as much as at the time I couldn't understand how how he could act in this way to me but and at the end of it he loved me like to pieces right like he he still to this day you know like regards me as one of the greatest loves of his life and okay. for me for me being an anxious person i couldn't comprehend that he didn't want to see me or that he didn't want to spend time with me as often as i did right mm. and yeah, it, I now completely understand the whole, all of it. But at the time, it was impossible for me to like rectify these things in my head. Um, but now with this greater understanding, you know, I see that and it still doesn't make, I mean, this bigger conversation still doesn't make it right for me the way that he loves, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I can now understand that he could, he was only able to love me with the capacity you know that he had and that was you know his full capacity hmm. but he you know he did love me and i didn't i couldn't understand that at the time yeah you know? hmm. well the things we discover about ourselves right yeah. 
Yeah. Like yeah, how, and how apparently like I'm avoiding is all hell, even though the <laughs> test results said I'm not. Uh, all right, let's get into that. Was that was the light question? <laughs> that was a light question. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> so you're like, that was a light. Like, okay. Should we? Should I sign a waiver for this next one? 